ASW 42, March 3rd, live only on pay per view. So there's the numbers up on screen for this lightweight world title. The KSW strap up for grabs at 70 keys. Mateusz, the gamer, Gamrod, comes to this with 11 and 0. Renato Pegino Gomez Gabriel at 19 and 8. He comes as the contender, but will he be a pretender? Because Gamrot, the youngest champion in KSW, is gonna defend that belt like the keeper of the castle. Listen, Chris, this is gonna be an explosive bout. The Brazilian hasn't come a long way for a short fight. The game has got his hands full. How's it gonna play out? It was so intense at the way in super, super tough stuff. I think Pagino is going to go for an early finish, and the gamer wants to make this one as convincing as it can be in defending the strap tonight here in Zielo Nagora. Oh, both fighters paying each other respect. There was a little burst of activity first off where the gamer, Gamrot, tried to impose himself, but there's a standoff here. There's the shoot for the takedown. Does it come to anything? These two guys are explosive on the mat, and it's Gamrot that ends up on top, being held in a half guard there. Pagino really up against it, up against the wire. This was one of the most important questions coming into this contest, was how quickly would the wrestling of the gamer become a factor? Pagino, I feel, needs to stick and move and avoid being put down early in the contest. And right now, it's the gamer who seems to be getting the better of the two game plans. Well, as I said, 11 and 0, this Ancos MMA product comes into this with an unbeaten record. Renato Pagino Gomez Gabriel, of course, Brazilian. He's been round the block. He knows his way around the ring. He's going to be bringing some moves to this, like that, where that body slam just came in. But Gamrot advantages himself by taking side control, and he's got the cards here now. But just look at Pagino work from underneath. Pagino trying to catch an escape here, but he's playing the wrong game if he's gonna try and wrestle with Mateusz Gambrot. Right now, Pagino is stuck here in a half guard position. He's looking to establish that lockdown on the left side. You notice the way he gets his ankle connected to Mateusz Gambrot and tries to drag and more importantly slide his way into a better position. This being open guard, much better for Pagino getting the legs in play and stressing the defensive systems. Pushing through, trying to get control through that guard. Mateusz Gamrot trying to land some shots there. There's a rangy reach actually from Pagino, getting the elbow in and getting the fist, the hammer fist into play. But Gamrot now in a very strong and commanding position. We saw in his last performance how dominant he was here against Mansur Barnaoui in a thrilling back and forth fight. Gambrot was constantly able to get the better of these exchanges, and right now he's showing off just why that was the case. Pagino, though, three first round finishes in 2016. This is the last place he wanted to be at this point in the first round. Well, it is a real chess match here as these two technical experts and absolute masters of discombobulation get to work it. Trying to pass desperately, Mateusz Gamrot goes round the front now and he's got a headlock on there. Knee strike goes in, that's a guillotine in place. He's pulling down Pagino and getting the leverage there, Chris. He's got that front head snap down to the T. Look at that. If you can't take your man down, it's another way to get him closer to ground territory. And then he dives back into the guard of Pagino. What Pagino did very well there earlier was trying to use an active guard to create some space and get back up to the feet. Right now, though, the gamer stand tight and more importantly, aggressive. Well, it's a fair exchange thus far, and both fighters very respectful. Uh, not a mad scramble to get to it after the stand up, but stand up it goes. And now uh, Gamrot, double front kick there. Just happy to stand off. Maybe we'll see some boxing. I don't think so. I think this is going to go to the ground as soon as it possibly can. Pagino showing some good looks here, but he needs to make sure he keeps his chin protected. 
And more importantly, those hands high, because just from what I can tell, Gamrot is loading up on the right hand or a right kick. And a stance swap from Gamrot usually would indicate the shot. But now he's back to orthodox. Fugino cannot chase here. He needs to keep unpredictable, and more importantly, keep good diagonal and lateral footwork. Chris, tell us about the road to KSW 36 for Pergino. So he went through a tournament series and won the road to KSW tournament, two fights in a night. It was a big, big night for him, two first round finishes. So this is not a mug punter. This is not a guy that's turned up here to fight a KSW champion on a wish and a prayer. This is not a setup. Pergino is the real deal. And he's showing off right now, although he is starting to bear the signs of a firefight, and he continues to chase down Gambrat. Part of me also thinks the strategy here is to push him and work the cardio, get him tired. We've had the 10 second clapper, the clock winds down, the end of the first. This has been a great round for Gambrat, hasn't it? It's been a great round for Gambrat to be able to get Pejinho down to the map, but what he wasn't able to do was hold him there. I like the way Pejinho got up and then constantly tried to box him in tried to lead in those combinations, tried to be first. And right now, I think we could be set up for round two that's gonna to continue to be escalation measures. Well, if you were gonna call it, you were looking at what happened, how would you call this round, Chris? What would you say were the advantages and the disadvantages of both fighters for the judges? Gamer with the takedown, the top control, the positional dominance. Pagino with some good aggression on the feet in the last 90 seconds. The majority of that, though, has to go to Gamrot. I believe he won that round 10-9. Well, that was a big mistake there. Gamrot lifted that leg up, and it allowed Pachinho, with those long, rangy arms, to hook up underneath the knee, lift his man up, and slam him down. But, uh, you know, that's not going to intimidate Gamrot in any way, shape, or form. Yep, I agree with you. I think that Gamrot going into the second has got the edge, got the advantage, but the game is long. Pachinho is not gonna come a long way for a short fight. He's gonna be doing the business here. We go to round two. And let's not forget, this is for a title strap. It's the KSW World Lightweight title. Two of a scheduled three. And immediately, Piaginio out of the gate, like a racehorse running forward, but that would be the mistake. If you move one way, it's easy to set up the level change. All the way underneath, sucks his hips away and like a folding chair collapses down to the canvas. The transition was beautiful, wasn't it, from that upright position to that shoot from Gamrot. He is a master. Down he went, Pagino didn't see it coming. When it came, it was too late. So he's given up his back a little bit here. He's managed to turtle out of that, wheedle out of that on the wire. But Gamrot has taken him back down and being held in half guard, he's in that top controlling position. Outside trip for Gamrot. Good pressure here. More importantly, a deep right underhook and head pressure to try to advance his position and slide up higher. This is too good a matchup for it to end suddenly or abruptly. These guys are real players. They know what they're doing. We're looking at a long night here of hard work. We're looking at a, an attritional contest between these two and you're gonna see subtle skills because nothing obvious is gonna be made available for the naked eye. This is all about twitch and jerk. Pagino known more as a finisher. Gambrat pretty even on the decisions and the stoppages. We've got to remember, Pagino has been through everything to the top of the heap in the domestic scene in Brazil, which is no small feat in itself. So, as you said, Will, he is going to be gunning for the finish here tonight. But Gambrat doing the right thing of slowing the pace down and ensuring he keeps control of every exchange in every position. Masterful, masterful work from Gambrat. Controlling from the side, he's trying to slip that leg in to take advantage. There's an arm available to him there, that left arm. But uh, tweak and jerk, as I said, and bang, that's gone. And Gamrot working furiously. It's Gamrot that's got the work rate here. And uh, Pagino trying to get to the upright, but he's given up his back for the second time. There's the hand round the neck, there's the choke. Down goes Gamrot, and down goes Pagino as well. There's the rear naked. Hidaka Juke, he's gonna have to give up to this. He's got that really nicely with the seatbelt grip, but excellent defense from Pagino. And Gambrot thought about going for a head and arm choke there, but Pagino is a tough guy. He is 
very, very determined here tonight. I know the head is in the game. The word in the locker room, total motivation. And he nearly caught Gambrat earlier with a scissor sweep. Also, as you alluded to, Will, controlling the arm with the figure four. But this is really bad right now. Gambrat having passed the legs and into side control. Well, we saw Mateus Gambrat pre-fight in the hotel yesterday evening and today, and the man was in the zone. He was so focused. Well, he's given up a leg now, Pizzino. There's a lock about to be applied. Stuck here in a beautiful 50-50 exchange. He thought about an inverted heel hook option, and both fighters have leg lock opportunities here. And you notice the way that Pizzino covered up his leg, the exposed heel, the piece that was in jeopardy, Man, this is an absolute struggle for position. And right now, Gamrot's got that one caught. Can Gamrot put the leverage on? Pajinho could be in trouble. He's in the pain locker here. And he's going for it, but great defense from Pajinho. He knows exactly when to sit up into that. He knows when to put his weight down. He knows when to hand fight. There we go, he's got it! There's the tap out and it's all over! Mateus! The gamer Gamrot has defended his title here tonight at KSW 36. He did a great job there of swapping up those attacks. And it's thinking two and three moves ahead in submission fighting that makes it the ultimate equalizer at all times in MMA. Virginia in a lot of pain, and that shows you the leverage that was exposed to him there. What an absolute Unbelievable ultimate finish there from Mateus Gamrot. Chris, talk us through the action there. Pagino was fighting smart. He was being methodical, but he was taking a gamble by engaging in that position. It's not called 50-50 for nothing here, Will. Take a look at this. All the way reaching behind the ankle was the gamer, and he rolls through to try and expose some space so that he can get that heel into the crux of his elbow and his forearm. Gets that grip together, and the way he's got those legs locked together and locked down does not allow Pagino any opportunity to escape. And it was a vacant title last time around. The gamer stole it against Bonaui, and now he defends the silverware with an incredible submission win here at KSW. Well, this has to be a huge compliment to the KSW Federation. They have a new young champion, an up and rising star. They don't go out and get some journeyman. They don't go out and get some guy that says he can talk the talk and walk the walk. They get somebody who's fought his way here in the shape of Pagino, who is a real, real deal fighter. And look at what happened. Mateus Gamrot emphatically lays out the law and says, I'm the guy that you got to come and beat. And Pagino still limping on that leg. And that just shows you the awesome power that those leg locks can impose. You've got to be an all-rounder. You can't come with a one-trick pony deal and expect to walk out with gold here at KSW. Szanowni Państwo, walka skończyła się w drugiej rundzie, która trwała 3 minuty i 46 sekund. Panie i Panowie! Ladies and gentlemen, zwycięzcą walki o pas, the winner, and still, KSW Lightweight Champion is Mateusz!